Strong reaction across the country tonight after the U.S. Supreme Court handed down perhaps one of the most consequential decisions in history. In a narrow 63 vote today, the justices overturned Roe v. Wade, reversing nearly 50 years of court precedent. Reporter Karen Kaifa has more. From coast to coast, the Supreme Court's historic ruling on abortion rights sparking a strong and emotional response. On Friday, the conservative Supreme Court majority overturned Roe v. Wade, ending the federal constitutional right to abortions. Abortion rights activists angered at the nearly 50 year reversal taking to the streets from Washington, D.C. to Colorado to California. Abortion bans are illegitimate. Forced motherhood is illegitimate. I'm angry. I'm fired up. The fight is not over. People did this fight 50 years ago. I guess it's our turn to take the fight up again. Meanwhile, anti abortion activists praising the high court's decision and celebrating the victory. Millions of lives will be saved by this decision. I've been fighting my entire adult life for this day. It is one important victory. The landmark decision expected to have a wide and immediate impact. 26 states have laws indicating they plan to ban abortion, according to the Guttmacher Institute, including 13 that have trigger laws that have already gone into effect or will occur after a set period or after a step taken by a state government entity. We're looking at a moment where we are going to experience a nationwide health care crisis as over half the country bans access to abortion care. And as supporters and opponents respond to the ruling, the D.C. Metropolitan Police is ramping up staffing, bracing for potential clashes over the weekend as President Joe Biden asks Americans to keep protests peaceful. No intimidation. Violence is never acceptable. In Washington, I'm Karen Kaifa. Protests are being held across the country in response to the uh, new law, including here in Florida. This video is from our state capitol. Protesters peacefully protested in Tallahassee to voice their disappointment with the Supreme Court decision. And strong reaction in our area as people on both sides of the abortion issue took to the streets following the Supreme Court's groundbreaking decision. Our Luli Ortiz went to a rally in downtown West Palm Beach and has more on how the decision is sparking both outrage and victory celebrations. <laughs> from men to women to children. We are us as in people demanding basic given rights. A strong and emotional response following the Supreme Court's historic ruling Roe versus Wade, effectively ending the federal constitution right to abortion, leaving the politically charged issue up to each individual state. Are we angry? Yes! Angered at the reversal, pro-choice activists took to Clematis Street in downtown West Palm Beach to explain how this will hurt women and families. We aren't moving forward. It doesn't even feel backwards. It feels like we're moving into a completely new dark space. Many holding bold signs filled with rage, despair and tears chanting, my body, my choice. In 13 states, abortion will now be banned. Congresswoman Lois Franco expressing her frustration as she speaks to demonstrators, saying giving the states control could increase the likelihood that contraceptive like birth control could be targeted next. To me, this is just the start of an erosion of fundamental rights. And everybody better be, everybody uh, should know, we get what we elect. Meanwhile, pro-life activists are applauding the high court's decision. I am not going to stop fighting against abortion until we ban Totally abortions from Florida and 80,000 abortions in one year for me is just it's unbelievable. Number three in the country. In Florida, the governor signed a bill banning abortions after 15 weeks with few exceptions. That law goes into effect July 1st. Floridians on both sides of the abortion issue are expected to continue their demonstrations this weekend. In West Palm Beach, Luli Ortiz, CBS 12 News. Florida leaders are voicing their opinions on the ruling, including Governor Ron DeSantis, who took to Twitter earlier today. He said, quote, Florida will continue to defend its newly enacted pro-life protections and will stand for life by promoting adoption, foster care and child welfare. Charlie Chris, Democratic candidate running for Florida governor, shared this statement, quote, I am running for governor to protect Roe v. Wade on day one of the Chris administration. I will sign an executive order to protect a woman's right to choose. And Nikki Fried also running.
running for Florida governor released a statement saying this is a tragic day for women in America. The freedom to make their own choices about our lives, our bodies and our health care is fundamental to our humanity. It's absolutely devastating to have those rights taken away. Now, several companies have already taken a political stance on the issue. Disney, which employs about 80,000 workers in Florida, says it will cover employees travel costs to access medical care in another state like California or New York. Disney isn't the only company doing this. Paramount, Netflix, J.P. Morgan Chase, Comcast, Meta and Condé Nast are also reportedly making similar options available for employees. What does all of this mean for the future of abortion here in Florida? CBS 12's Al Pefley has been getting local reaction to the decision that's being felt and debated coast to coast tonight. Al joins us now from a pro-choice rally in downtown West Palm Beach. Al? Liz, this rally was organized by the Democratic Women's Club of Palm Beach County. They're not happy with today's court decision, which was leaked in draft form weeks ago. And they say it has set women's rights back by about 50 years. Although this has been a long time coming, it's still a gut punch. This is devastating. Planned Parenthood in West Palm Beach is still seeing patients and performing abortions, but they're concerned about how the Supreme Court decision may impact access to abortions in Florida in the future. In Florida, we're going to fight like hell to uh, make sure that the Ron DeSantis administration doesn't pass any more abortion bans in our state. In April, a 24-hour waiting period went into effect here, and next Friday, a state ban on abortions after 15 weeks goes into effect. Local pro-life advocates who supported those changes are applauding today's court decision, calling it long overdue. Uh, I'm ecstatic. Uh, we've been fighting this now for 49 years. Willie Guardiola, president of the Palm Beach County Right to Life League, hopes Florida's legislature will one day outlaw abortion altogether. I've been fighting this fight for so many years, and to me, the killing of a baby, an innocent baby in the womb, is the most uh, pathetic thing in the world. I mean, it's evil, it's demonic. I think people are really scared, to be honest. They're shocked, even though we saw this coming. Um, it's still heart-wrenching because in Florida right now, we currently have you know, the right to an abortion, but that could change. Now, in order to ban the abortion procedure entirely, Florida's legislature would have to pass such a bill. The governor would have to sign it. Then it would have to survive a challenge at the state Supreme Court, where previous rulings have found that abortion is protected under the privacy clause of the Florida Constitution. Even the 15-week abortion ban, which goes into effect next Friday, does not significantly reduce abortion access. That's because about 98% of abortions performed in the state are done before the 15-week deadline.